All right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel at the Regal Gentleman Studio. We've got Joe in the chair today, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Solid you? haircut. Yeah. So, go on, what are we doing? What's the plan? Um, so, I'm thinking taking quite a lot of the length off. Obviously, it's come to summer. Yeah. Um, it's very thick as well. So mm -hmm. I want to thin it out a bit. Okay. Um, the size, I used to have it to a step. Okay. So, I had a step around sort of here. But okay. I'm thinking to get rid of the step and just sort of fade out the sides. Okay. At the top, the back knee is a bit of bit taken off, mm -hmm. not too much, so it doesn't stick up. And then the front is about how I like it now. Right, so the length of the front is how you like it, yeah? yeah. So what, the back's a bit too long through here, yeah? Thick. I need to okay. fit out a bit. Um, okay, that's fine. And then also I'm thinking is coming around the sides. Okay. I might get rid of some of this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And shave sort of around the sides a bit more. Okay. So box it out a bit. Right, uh, yeah. I mean, what you see straight on yeah. won't look the same from behind them. Yeah. So that's this, downside. Essentially, this bit up here, come around the back a bit more. Okay. You know I mean? Yeah, I see what you mean. Um, okay. And what would you, because that won't be able to be blended in right. at all. Right. So you'd have a fade and then a step. Yeah. So what you want? I'm thinking of, I've had a step yeah. um, around sort of here. Yeah. But I'm thinking of going back to a fade. Yeah. But not too high. Okay. So I quite like it, quite sort of thicker up here. Okay. I mean. Yeah. yeah. Um, but what do you think about the sides then, when coming around back? Um, I mean, it's, it is, this is such a unique personal preference haircut, okay? My professional p opinion would be not to do that. Right. Uh, you, could, you could definitely go around the, around the back a little bit, yeah. but the problem is then is it's where does it stop? Right. You know, at what point do you want it to stop? Yeah. Um, let me get the mirror for you so you can have a little look. But I, I think I sort of agree with you now. I think just keep it shaped how it is. You, could still, you can still blend it out into that bit there. Yeah. It's just that if you start taking too much off, where do you stop? Where do you stop? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, exactly. Where do you stop? And I think because you, you can, you can. The thing is, you you're gonna take length off as well. Yeah. Up. So then you're left with a smaller area, right. which I I don't think it'd look right. Yeah. Um, I might be wrong, but I I've done a lot of mullet in my time. I yeah. I don't know whether that'll work quite well. Yeah. Um, because essentially you still need to see the size. You can get away with taking this bit shorter. Don't get me wrong. So what you see straight on, you can still see this kind of style. Yeah. And obviously, as it comes to here, like you said, a bit boxy. I, I kind of where you're going with the boxy kind of finish. What I would suggest is, so what you can see straight on is you can see this haircut, right? So we'll take some length off the crown. Yeah. Got to graduate it into the back here. We'll take some length off the crown here. Keep the length at the front if you're happy with that. Yeah. We'll maybe just put a bit of texture in there, make sure it's yeah. even. So it sits quite nice, to be fair. Yeah. And then obviously, I know you want to keep this rounded through here. So these are things we've got to, we've got to take into consideration, right? On a haircut, you can't just have bits left and bits taken off. Right. Everything's kind of got a balance. I know that sounds crazy looking at a, a mullet because essentially that's yeah. what you do. But when you want to leave little bits here because you like the kind of roundness and the thickness here, yeah. taking some off the crown here then taking some off the back here, it's just going to be like long strands right. all over. It's not going to be, it's going to look almost like it's been done by you, yeah. which I don't want that. Yeah. I'd rather it look like it's going to work. And there are ways to still make that happen. Yeah. So there are ways to keep length through here. But again, if you're having a fade, I wouldn't suggest leaving this hanging over it because you can't see the fade. Yeah. And then it just sits, it is kind of like, this is a lot shorter than here. You know, it's, it's kind of mismatched, yeah. Yeah. which, you know, you, you, you still want a hairstyle like a mullet to still look technically good. Yeah. You know, you, there's no point in having it kind of sort of too rounded at the top here, then going for like a, a boxy finish at the back. Cause it, it's yeah. a bit of a two, yeah, no, it's like three or four different haircuts in one, which it sounds good, but I don't know if it'll work or not. That's the thing, it might, it might not. It's hard to say until you start cutting into it. Yeah. Um, and because we are taking quite a lot of length off the, off the back as well, the whole shape will change. You know, from what you see now, this will change an awful lot. Yeah. So what I would suggest is the fade, that's fine. We can, we can, we, we're, we're, we're well yeah. onto the fade. We know where that's going. Yeah. The fringe, yeah. So the fringe and the fade, we've got that down to a T. Mm -hmm. Through here, we can still keep some length in, but like this bit, we don't need that length yeah. there. That's just sitting. Yeah. There's no reason for that bit there, especially when that bit next to it is so much shorter yeah. and the bit in front of it is so much shorter. Yeah. So essentially you've just got like, yeah. yeah, you've just got like a long layer and then everything else is quite short. So yeah. I would suggest doing the fade, I would suggest doing a fade that looks as though it kind of comes off and into this part here. Yeah. So essentially having, are you looking to go down to skim? Uh, probably on the side. Yeah. On the side, yeah, yeah, okay. So what I'd probably do is do the fade from on this angle yeah. and blend it out into the back. Okay, right. so we'll cut the back in first, yeah. get the length right. Then through all, all through here, we can still keep length through this bit. Yeah. But we needed to have some sort of graduation in there because at the minute there isn't a, there isn't one. It's just like longer than short. Mm -hmm. So we can still maintain some length through the corner. So I always like to keep length in a fade anyway because it looks nice. Yeah. But again, it needs to 
that side's way longer than that side, yeah. okay? So I think if you were happy to leave this bit to me, to make it all ba yeah. balancing, that'd be cool. Because I'll definitely make it work for what you want. I know where you're going with it. I know you don't want it to be like taken right up and all yeah. that, I get that. But again, we can still balance this in and make it all work yeah, as well. I think as well with the back, because it's so long, I think the weight of it is pulling it sort of pulling down a bit. Before it was a lot curlier. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. the weight, so if we come sort of a third off. Yeah, yeah, that's it, fine. It will make it a lot sort of. Yeah, yeah, definitely. More you know I mean? Oh yeah, it'll be bigger and curlier. Yeah, I mean that that will happen just by the sections that we take and the technique that we we texturize with. But at the minute, yeah. we want to make sure like the middle's longer than everywhere else. Yeah. You see, so the middle down here comes down to here, so everything looks as though it's been pulled in by the looks of it. So I think you know, in terms of the length, you tell me exactly where you want it to sit when it's dry. Probably. So just on, would you say that the top of the collar? Yeah. Would you say yeah? So top of the collar, because don't forget it will get shorter in the middle and it'll get longer to the side there as well, okay? So that sits just on, say there, yeah. would you say, yeah, if you can just pull that to the side, just about there, just above the above the t-shirt yeah. line, yeah? Okay, cool, yeah. Well, that's good to know, because that, that then, when that dries and we get the curl in there, we'll diffuse the back, we'll put loads of texture in, so you will get a lot of a softer finish through the back, because it is very heavy. Yeah. But I think everything else, fringe happy with, fade on the sides. Yeah. What I'll do, once we cut the mullets, in the, into the back once we've cut the back down shorter we can then look at how short and how how far round we can go and um, because again we are going to lose like like these random bits here mm -hmm. there isn't one that side yeah. and there is one that side yeah. you know what i mean so yeah. Yeah. so i think once we've cut, cut the shape into it then you can start to personalize it a bit more all right but let's get the let's get the back done Great. that's the main bit of this haircut. Mm -hmm. everything else is easy to, easy to work through together all right Great, yeah. sweet man You're, i mean how, did, how long has it taken to grow this uh, about a year and a half. Is this lockdown and then just yeah. kind of cut it's in? long all over before. Yeah. And I cut it into a mullet about six months ago. Nice. When I was doing mullets back in the day, right, we were talking like sort of, um, you know, 2006, 2005, 2006. They, yeah. That was like Beckham had the kind of V cut and then he had the mullet and all this sort of stuff, right? And I had I had a mullet as well, you know, but the way we used to have it, we used to straighten it off with the straighteners at the back. And yeah. it was very, you know, you could pick, you could tell what year we were in. You know what I mean? If you looked at it now. but. Again, it was, we had, I mean, we, I was doing like, I used to have this guy from London, actually, he was a student, and his hair was longer than yours, he used to straighten it, and we used to have a skin fade on the side. So yeah. everything you're seeing now has been done already. It's always the way, except we were taking fringes off back then. Yeah. That was what we were doing. We, we weren't leaving a fringing, because yeah, that was too, all the way up. well, the fringe was almost completely shaved off, yeah. and then you cut right into it to have it messy and spiky on the top. Yeah. But because I think the, the mullet, the fringe was the thing that made it look too much like a mullet, if you know what I mean? Too much like an old school mullet. Yeah, yeah. But now I think old school mullets are back in. So yeah, it's cool, man. I love it. I think it's great. I love, I love the, just the, I like people expressing themselves in here and I think this is a really good expression of it as well. So, right. So we're going to start on the back. That's the main thing first, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section off as though we were doing a horseshoe. Beneath the crown, just don't forget with the sides. I'm going to bring this around like so okay i'm gonna section it off like this but then i'm gonna section off here as well so just on this angle like that okay section that back because i want to work on that in a little bit that's going to be where i graduate into my fade okay there we go we'll look at the monitor what we need to do is we're gonna go shorter at the crown and longer down the bottom, but we want to graduate it. We don't just be a step of shorter and then longer. Okay. Now, how you do that? Now, lean over this way for me. That's great. Now, we're just leaning over. I can angle my fingers in much tighter. Okay. On this angle, and this is what we need to do. So, to start with, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna cut it at this length here. And that will cut it in. Now, Joe angles his head over a bit more, like that, and then my fingers. So my fingers go towards the top of his head. And this allows us to create a nice angle into there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is graduate this into length. Fairly wide section. Same thing again, Joe leans his head over towards me. Just work with the client with which way the position of the head is. It makes life so much easier. Bring that over like so. There we go. Now we can tilt his head back over that way. And now we can start to get on that angle now, like so. And bring it right over, like so. But what we've got, short, 
shorter, longer, longer, longer. And out. Fingers pointing towards the mirror. Really wide sections. Going. There's the guide underneath. Like so. Bring it out. And then bring that out again. Pull this in here. There's the first guide. Angle your fingers out. There's my guide. Cut. What are you doing? Angle your fingers out. With that. Bring it out. At the bottom. And what you're going to get is loads of movement through the back, through that tail, but a nice graduation to length. Who would have thought there was so much to a mother today, you know? There we go, I've got my fingers, there we go, there's the guide. First cut, you start to lower the head down, take your section, find your guide, pull it out, there we go. Find your guide again. There we go. Last but not least, the very bottom. Out like so. Done is we've laid that mullet in now. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take this section just here because the other side is a bit longer than the other side, just from the previous cut. So let's just lay that in. Pull that out, still only all that length, not doing anything for them. As you can see, it doesn't sit into the back. There we go. Right, I'm going to pick a length now. So head down for everybody. So I want this to sit just on collar. I'm going to cut that to about here, that way, when it rides up, it'll be a nice length, about there, okay? Bring that straight across. I'm just cross-checking it now. I'm going to work on some razor work now. So this is going to add that texture and that movement into the curls. So starting on this side, some horizontal sections, and just working through. Now, because we took such wide sections, we've got short, long, short, long, short, long. You can't really tell because the way it balances. So I'm just gonna break it up with the razor now and just create that lovely kind of loose curl that we need sitting through this, because it is, I mean, if you could feel it, you'd understand how thick it is. It's really thick. You see, you've got a lot of that curl in there now. Next one I do is I'm going to cut the crown in now. And so you get a nice graduation, the same length through the top and through the crown. Pick it up, there's our guide. Make it across the top. You slide into it if you like, whatever you prefer to do. Like so. Bring it from the back up to the top, and there's our guide that we use. And this should match up to pull another section up. Like so. Work it into the top and work horizontally across the top. And all that length can come off now through here. We're using a guide that we cut the top of the back into as a guide that we're going to use through the top and that's what gives that lovely graduation. And as we get to the front we should end up leaving all the length. The front should be the longest point, not the back. 
Ja. There we go, we're just getting gradually longer as we get to the front. Because like Joe said, he doesn't want to take anything off the fringe. Put that section up. There we go. Cut that a little bit off there because it's going even. This next bit. So we've got a perfect graduation from the back to the front being the longest point of the haircut now, especially on the front. So what we'll do, through the corners, we're going to add the fade to it. But what I want to do first is I want to still maintain some of that length through the corners here. But I just want to kind of all balance and blend. I'm just cutting this in a bit. Like that, but I'm leaving the length at the top, okay, because that's essentially all we need. Don't need this length under here. That was left a little bit too long for me from the last haircut. And you see there isn't a blend at the moment, see? Yeah, we're keeping the length at the top. Just working that in. Could be from the step, it could be from anything, I'm not too sure. Like so. And point cutting. So what we get is a nice graduation into the mullet at the back. Like so. Okay. Then we can work on the fade. All right. So, I'm going to move into the fade now. I'm going to do one side first and the other side. Okay. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to line out the hair of the trimmers. I'm bring it around like this. So what's doing is getting gradually longer as it goes down, like so. So I'm going to do my zero line, like so. I think the harsher the better, personally, for this. Sharpen off the hairline. There we go. Onto the foils. Open guard and a half. And then stretch this fade out. Right. One guard on, open, so one and a half. Just working through the lever into our two. And then I'll use my size five comb to blend this in. So we've kept the length through there, yeah. right? Kept that length through there. We've got the fade in, right? I'm thinking if we were just to take off these little bits here mm -hmm. and just graduate that into the length down here, I think it would work really well. Yeah. Would you be happy with that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Cool. Because yeah. it's just too bulky. You know what I mean? I think what you see straight on, it does, yeah, exactly. That's right. So I think if we were to cut that in, that would look quite nice. Yeah. And just cutting that through like that. So we're still having the graduation. We're not having all that bulk sitting at the back there. And all you have left is the length behind it. Because of the fades in there, it really makes it look like everything blends in. The section just above it, coming over, we just work horizontally. Like so, another way. And just over the other side. Just pump us into it a little bit. I'm just going to slide cut into this just so there's a bit of texture falling in to the blend. It makes the fade stand out a bit more as well. And the kind of choppiness 
and then something really sharp. Same again the other side now. Trying to keep a lot of that weight in there for, for Joe. But we'll perfect that once we've done the fade. And we'll keep that length at the top. See, keep that length at the top, just angling my knuckles towards the side of the head. Maintain slightly round the finish. Skin again with the fade. Start off with just edging out the hairline. So I can see where I'm going with the fade. More harsh effect. Working parallel with top of the crown and also working alongside the temple. Like that. Now moving down to my half. I'm working it right up and off, like so. Working that off and off. Let's put that too. Again, nice five count. Jumping off the side of the temples again, around the side bends. Just behind the ear to give that nice boxy finish. Like so. Top. And just slide right through this, give it loads of texture, okay? Loads of movements. Make it really easy for you to style. Right, I'm going to join soft with a little bit of salt spray. A little bit of salt spray. Spray it in the front as well. Spray it to the back of the scrunch. The back, okay. I'm going to dry that off first. Yeah. We're going to use a one arm brush for this, okay? I'm going to dry that fringe with a nice little bit of care. Mm -hmm. Right from the crown. Yeah. Like so. We dry it forwards. Like this. You press the brush around. Mm -hmm. Like so. And create like little waves, okay? Mm -hmm. Is it doing a hand scale for you, okay? So the medium, it's on like a low speed and a high heat. And you just tilt your head back for me, or I'll drop it in that diffuser. Does it? Yeah, that's good. It doesn't. It looks just. I don't think I notice it, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
and that's it. Okay. Happy, yeah? Okay, yeah. Sweet, man, that looks awesome. Thank you so much, mate.